When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we are gonna do another shoe unboxing. And I think the last shoe unboxing that we did on this channel was also candy related shoes where I unboxed the Peeps shoes. But uh, these are actually made of candy. They are a pair of shoes that I actually got for um, one of those videos, you guys know like I do, where I like group a bunch of stuff together and then I make like a world's weirdest video where I test out like a bunch of gadgets, inventions, or weird things around a singular topic. Well, I actually bought these to do like a world's weirdest shoe video thing with. I had some shoe gadgets and then these shoes, but I don't know, I just like, I. I keep saying this in every single video, but I keep doing like some spring cleaning. I wanted to open these. I wanted to unbox these. So uh, you guys, if you're subscribed to my main channel as well, you will probably see these things like uh, pop up in that video. Cause I still do intend to do it. I have a bunch of like weird like shoelaces and just, I don't know, a bunch of weird stuff, but I am literally not going outside <laughs> very much right now. So I feel like a bunch of the other gadgets, like I would actually have have to leave the realm of my backyard to test them out but I don't know we'll see where all of that is headed but today I just felt like I wanted to kind of concentrate on something goofy and do a, a good old-fashioned shoe unboxing so that's what we're doing today so uh, I'm sure you guys have already seen on the side of the box these are called gum shoes and they are made in Amsterdam and I think that these were on Kickstarter for a while so let's open them up there's actually like literally zero packaging inside of here. I just did open the box to uh, take the thumbnail. And the crazy, like, kind of disappointing thing is, um, if you look on the bottom, it does say smell me. So I literally thought that when I opened this box, like, it was gonna smell like a super gum smell. Now, I have had these in my house for like a couple of months now actually several months like probably six months or more so uh, maybe the smell like wore off but I did think since they were like completely made out of gum that like maybe the smell of gum would somehow linger on these shoes I do remember seeing like the whole like smell me thing somewhere on their website so I was like super excited to have shoes made out of gum that smell like gum Gum, but yeah, they don't. They literally have like maybe like a generic shoe smell, but not even like a faint trace of gum. They actually like had some really funky, well not funky, but actually just like genuinely interesting facts on their website that uh, they said in Amsterdam, I think 3.3 million pounds of gum is left on the streets of Amsterdam every single year and it takes 2.2 pounds I think of gum um to make each pair of shoes which is like crazy fascinating to me so their technology is called gum tech and I think that they said something like the gum industry all over the world is like a $30 billion a year industry and that Americans spend $3 billion a year on gum alone. And then the last fact that I remember, I'm just like hitting you guys with some, what were those magazines called back in the day? Like zoo books where it's just like full of facts, facts about gum. Um, but I think that they said the average price of a piece of gum is four cents. But then when like cities, countries send crews out, you know, cause you've got to use those. I don't know what the, I'm like, I just keep calling them a blaster in my mind. Um, what are the power washer? That's the word I'm looking for. So uh, a piece of gum on average cost four cents, but it cost two dollars in manpower to remove just a single piece of gum. I guess you really just gotta blast the gum off the street. So it's pretty interesting. I don't know how prevalent, like maybe if you're a banana pepper from Amsterdam, you can tell me if you have seen this company's like little PSA anywhere 
out and about in Amsterdam because what they started doing, and I'll go ahead and insert a picture so you guys can see because it's on their Instagram. I've seen like different um, versions of it. Like sometimes I think it's like an animal blowing a bubble and sometimes it's a person, um, but they have like these bits of graffiti or PSAs with like a three dimensional bubble being blown and it's actually like a donation station. So like you can spit your gum out in these little things and then they come and collect the gum and make shoes out of it. So if you live in Amsterdam and you've ever seen it, or maybe you've heard of this brand or not, you can tell me how prevalent it is. I would surely be interested in knowing. I think that this is so cool. Like I feel like if there were initiatives like that, like more people, like wouldn't you, would, like I would love to spit my gum out in something and know that my gum has become an amazing pair of gum shoes versus like, I mean, I don't spit it out in the street anyway, but like, I don't know. Where am I going with that? I don't know. So. Uh, these are the shoes. They are very fascinating. They do have an incredibly different texture versus any other shoe that I have ever touched or unboxed before. It does actually feel like a bit of gum. I don't even know how to describe it. Like the upper, I'm sure that they did have to mix the gum with something else, obviously, because like otherwise, how could you just make gum into this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but it does just have like a smooth, like almost like you, you guys know when you get a piece of gum, like especially like the chunks of gum, like hubba bubba or something, you guys know how it's like a candy texture, but also like a little bit powdery on the exterior. That's exactly what this feels like. It's bizarre. And then the soles is what literally looks the most gum-like to me. Like, look at that. It literally looks as if it is a chewed piece of gum because it is. Let me see what it says. Uh, gum tech made with recycled chewing gum. So each of the soles has just a little bit of different texture to it, which is quite fascinating. Now, the way that I read it on the website, it does seem like the shoe, like the whole shoe is made out of this like gum tech, gum material, uh, just with different additives for the sole compared to the upper. And I think the laces are just like normal nylon laces that are not made out of gum in any way. A whole like color and everything. So fascinating to me. Why am I like this? Why do I love like stuff like this? Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to uh, re-look at their website because it has been so long since I have done so. Um, and the last time, like when I ordered these shoes, they only had the shoes available. Now they had them, I think, in two different colorways. The other one was like black and red or something, which I mean, it's still cool to have the technology of the recycled gum. But I'm like, if I'm gonna buy gum shoes, like I want them to look like they are made of gum. I think that the sizing is unisexy. I think that they are like men's and women's, just in case you're curious. But but since I purchased these shoes, they quite apparently offer like a whole other range of products, which is just very fascinating. You can now get a mug, like a Starbucks to go mug, um, pencils, guitar picks, bicycle spokes. I don't even know what sports cones are, frisbees, doorstops, forks, and my personal favorite, a hair comb. A hair comb made out of gum, which is like kind of hilarious to me because I'm like gum is like the one thing that you don't want in your hair. I'm sure they're going to be relatively comfortable. I used to wear like low top sneakers like this all the time, like especially when I was in um, college. And I'll tell you why. I would love to know if any of you guys remember this shoe or if you had these, but I was totally obsessed. Converse came out with these like low top sneakers that it was like part of this whole like DIY customization program. Program. I think it was technically like a competition like you were meant to actually like if you had drawing skills like draw on the shoes submit them a picture and then like your design could be picked I think for like a future 
Converse shoe design. I just wanted them to like draw all over them and I cannot even begin to tell you guys how many times I like drew on those, repainted over them, drew on them again. It was like, it was a whole thing. I think a bunch of brands do that now or at least I've seen Vans do that as well. Anyway, uh, that was a very long diatribe to say that I do remember like breaking in lower top sneakers like this can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge for blisters in my opinion. I feel like you kind of have to break in shoes like this very slowly because particularly this like back molded part, especially this, this feels like very, very stiff. So I would think that if I wanted to wear these for like any actual length of time, I would have to like break them in slowly but surely. I have never had shoes actually made out of candy before. So I'm not sure like if they would be like more malleable. Are they gonna stretch out easier or not? I have no idea. Um, and then I noticed like it actually says on the inside of the shoe, it's got this whole little messaging that says the soles of these shoes are made from recycled chewing gum from the streets of Amsterdam for the sole purpose of clean streets. So now I'm wondering if I like misread the information, maybe only the soles are made out of gum. I thought the whole dang thing was made out of gum, but maybe I should read more closely. Anyway, I just thought that this was a fun and interesting thing to share with you guys today. These are definitely some of the most unique shoes I think that I own. Kind of reminds me of those like notebooks and stuff that I remember, I'm sure they've been around for a really long time, but I remember seeing them first like when I was a kid. Oh my God, there was like two stores. There was this store that I loved that was called Earth Alert. It was like kind of a like a hippie store, but then there was another store called like Natural Wonders or something. I think Earth Alert was like, just like a, a mom and pop store in our local mall. Uh, but I think this other one, Natural something, I think it was like affiliated with like, I don't know, National Geographic or something. Uh, but do you guys know, <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about because I haven't spat it out yet, but like the paper made out of like coffee or banana peels, or I think they even have like elephant poop. Um, they have a bunch of them now, but like when I was, when I was younger, I remember I saw like, um, a notebook made out of banana peels. And I was just like, what? Or like dirt, shirts made out of dirt. They have that too. Anyway, now I am completely, completely off topic. I'm just rambling. I just felt like hanging out with you guys today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's shoe unboxing. Let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and feelings about this. Uh, if you guys have seen any other technology or products like this besides like the notebooks and the shirts, let me know. Cause I feel like I am always like super into, super attracted to like weird stuff like this. Uh, so thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. I hope that y'all are doing well safe, happy, and as healthy as we all can be at this time. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!